welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show YouTube for a brand new episode of our Madden 23 Philadelphia Eagles franchise mode. And hey, it's Gra it's Brandon Graham. He's telling us, hey coach, we're on a short week right now. I know things aren't going great for us currently, but it's it's a short week. We gotta we gotta pull one together. We gotta pull it together as a team and do it for the fans. Do it for Philadelphia because hey man, they come out every week for this team. You know, win or lose or tie, you know, this team this team comes out. And guess what? Last week we got a W. This week we're going up against the Houston Texans. The 0 7 Houston Texans. Okay. 0 and 7 Houston Texans. It's a race for last currently in this uh, in the NFL with Philadelphia and Houston. They're going for number one. It looks like Houston at one point trade for Kareem Hunt. All right, Houston has Kareem Hunt now on the team, and defensively, come on, let's just run at Jerry Hughes. It's Jerry Hughes Jr. I'm not scared of Jerry Hughes. Not scared of him whatsoever. Now. Last episode, we took on the Pittsburgh Steelers, and that was a team that, well, that was a game, really, which, which team wanted to lose more? That's all that team was. Not who wanted to win, it's who wanted to lose more. Yeah, very, very, very bad football game, but Philadelphia did come out victorious in that game, which, hey, it, it's not too bad. It's not, not, not the worst win out there. Definitely could have done worse for Philadelphia. In that instance, but we're going through this, trying to make sure everyone's healthy, trying to make sure that we don't have any dumb injuries. Uh, and it's just we're just hoping that we come up here and we have just good, healthy players. Jack Stoll and the Kobe Dean, they took practice to heart. Now they're gonna get some pluses right here. Plus one to Jack Stoll. Good on Jack Stoll. And he gets a bunch of stuff for that uh, possession upgrade, catching traffic, break tackle, run power, short route. You know, he, he got a lot. Possession is the way to go for tight ends. You know, just you heard it here, possession is the way to go. And now to Kobe Dean, you know, pass coverage is by far our scheme fit. But we want the best linebacker possible. Or do we want to give us, you know what, I think we need him. And, uh, we definitely need him for pass coverage. Plus two to zone. Maybe kick him to the outside. Have him to be a lockdown outside guy. I don't think his talents might, I mean, put him in the middle. I don't know. I'm not sure the kind of linebacker I want Lakobe Dean to be, but I want him to be like the head of our defense. We want him to be like an outside kind of guy, like Michael Kendricks, or like a not like a Nigel Bradham. Bradham is more of like a like a rush linebacker, like an off ball linebacker, plays the run. But I think I want to be in pass coverage, kind of play the run, so maybe lock down the outside, prevent any QB sneaks. I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna figure out what I, what I want to do with Lakobe Dean though. I'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Now, I'm taking on the Texans. They have Davis Mills. Yes, Davis Mills is their starting QB. And we have Gardner Minshew. Yeah, Mills versus Minshew. It's going to be a uh, it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a game nonetheless. Which team's going to come out victorious? Philadelphia riding the hot streak of one win in a row while the Texans have yet to find a win. You know, very uh, not great. Not great stats for either QB. I think four touchdowns, six picks, nine touchdowns, six picks for, or nine touchdowns, four picks for Davis Mills. Offense really isn't doing anything for the Texans. That's probably what's actually holding them back. That's why they have no wins. So, I mean, as long as our defense can hopefully stop their offense, then we should be good to go. But let's take a quicker look at Davis Mills as he comes out to the field after opening kickoff. And Mr. Mills has 1,500 yards, 9 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Alright, now I got 2-1 to one touchdown interception ratio. Not the worst in the league, but definitely not great. Now, second and three right here for the Houston Texans. That's going to be a... That's gonna be, I don't know what that was. That was... Just picking on number 33 right there. Alright, that's a first down. Big first down. Third and 13 now for Mr. Mills and the Texans. He's dropping all the way back to the 50. And he just picks up three yards. The fourth and ten now. They're going to go for the field goal. Get them on the board first. And that kick is wide left. So Minshew takes over with good field position. That's a quick pass to Quez Watkins. Now a second and seven situation. Here we go. It's going to be an end around two. Deshaun Jackson. Jackson trying to get to the outside. Gets run down. 
But hey, a 14-yard rush for Deshaun Jackson. Now here we go, third and ten. That's a throw. Good catch right there from Mr. Devin Allen. The Olympian Devin Allen right there. Big pass right there. But yeah, it looks like Houston, besides having a chaplain as their, as their GM and their life coach and everything else, uh, I guess he forgot to pay the cable bill. Uh, but yeah, they got a pick six. They got a pick six because I guess the cable cut out. Everyone's like, what happened? It was a blackout. It's like that Super Bowl commercial where it's just like a five second black ad. And it was like, everyone thought, like, hey, did my TV just shut off? Like, what happened? Why just a black screen? There was like a, like a 13 seconds of silence. I believe that's what that commercial was for. But yeah, down, down, uh, down by seven after a pick six. Third and 17 now after a sack. All right, Houston's coming to play. You know, play action. I mean, I don't think the play is going to fool anyone. But hey, A.J. Brown doesn't matter. He bullies himself in for a first down. Big catch by Mr. A.J. Brown. That's why you bring him in. Why you pay him all that money? Third and inches and the tight end, the third string tight end, first string fullback. He falls in for the touchdown for, ends up for a touchdown. Now, 7-7 seven, seven tie ball game. Davis Mills going to wander into a sack right there. Derek Barnett. Gets involved on that one. Big sack right there. Second and 19 now. Come on. Nope. That's a broken tackle. 42. Is that Kavon Wallace? Kavon Wallace just stopped and let him pass. He juked himself and went, no, no. You go. You can go now. Second and 10 after a huge pass. We have, ooh. It's going to be Milton Williams. Just bullying people over two sacks. The QB and the running back on that one. Third and 16, a jump. Like a jump swap from the linebacker. I don't know what that was intended for, but it's a fourth and eight, and they're in field goal position. That's going to be an easy make right there for the Houston Texans. So it's a 10 7 ball game now. Come on. We have B wide open, and B makes the catch right there. Quez Watkins cannot break free, though. But hey, he's got himself some yards this game. First and 10, come on. RB and linebacker, of course. You know, pre-patch games coming up. You know, these are all games that are pre-patch. And, yeah, hopefully the patch fixed some of this stuff. I mean, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pre-patch game. This is a pre-patch game. You can tell because the linebacker who would have no right in it, no business making that move right there, you know, that's actually going right over his head, and he went, nope, that's mine, and just yoinked it out of the air. So, second and four, we have Boston Scott in at running back. Ooh, he pushed number five down to the ground. Okay. All right. Third and six now. Line's holding up fairly well, and that's going to be a catch from the Olympian. Gardner Minshew had 167 yards passing. Not bad for Minshew Mania. Now we have Devin Allen again up the middle. Oh, and right there as well. Devin Allen again. Three catches by Devin Allen. Very clutch catches by Devin Allen. Bring Philadelphia into the end zone and gives them the lead. We'll make this a 14-10 lead. Now, kick off right here after that touchdown. It's 550 left here in the third quarter. Now, the return man coming up the field. And the return man coughs it up. Peanut punch right there. The return man coughs it up. Minshew now can go up by more than a score. We have B wide open over the middle. And nope, he... The Raukage jumped by number 25. All right, Gardner. Yeah, I I thought the Texans were a joke. Turns out I'm the joke. Now, second and 10. Come on, defense. There's a flag on the play. That's a fumble, too. Barnett picks it up. I mean, Madden just trying to be like, hey, man, that was a gross, awful, you know, interception we gave you. You know, let's, let's give you a hold. Do you want to accept the hold, or do you want to decline it? And have the ball. So we decline it and we have the ball. Instant sack though. Lane Johnson just went there. Here you go. Hold the door open for you. Third and six. There you go. It's going to be Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson as Minshew goes over 230 yards passing. Now, there we go. Again, just not where it needs to be. Minshew, another interception on the game. This time to the linebacker. Didn't need no fancy plays because he's just not playing that ball where it needs to be. 
Now on the third and two, uh, we have Jordan Davis coming in, stopping the run. Fourth and three, they're going for it with five minutes left here in the fourth quarter. So that's going to be a pass, and of course, that's going to be the first down. And look, look at him, he's pumped. He's pumped. They have momentum right now. They have all momentum, and they're losing. That's either how that's how bad this Eagles team. The Texans were losing as Nico Collins gets the touchdown to give them the lead. The Texans were losing, and there we go. Oh, look at that. Okay, all right. Blocked extra point. We're gonna go Brady Breezy there. He's at the thirty. The 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, the 3, the 2, the 1, and hey, touchdown. I guess a two-point conversion. The two-point conversion. Now with five seconds left here. It's a tie ball game. Third and eight. Kick is up, and kick will be good. All right. That's how the cookie crumbles in this game. Lose on the field goal right there. Gardner Minshew plays like absolute garbage. Like a fresh pile of dog feces. That's how Gardner Minshew played. This was a game that Minshew should have asserted himself as the starter. But now it's still going. It's like, all right, did, does Jalen Hurts the guy? Did he just have some, like, some mentals going on? Is Ian Book the guy? Like, what? what is happening here where Gardner Minshew nor Jalen Hurts can throw an accurate pass? A 19-16 loss to Davis Mills and the Texans. I mean, 231 passing yards, a touchdown, five interceptions. All right, it's just, it just the good, the bad, and it gets worse. That's all it is. Malata allowed a sack. All right. Seven tackles from the Kobe team led the team. One sack from Jordan Davis led the team. No interceptions, which is unfortunate. But this, this is a team that has a lot of question marks around it. They need a lot of things to start going right. Because at this point, we're not talking about playoffs. We're just talking about not having a losing record. Can we even... Is there enough games left in the season to have a winning record? That's the question we're at right now. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, hit that like button. Comment down below what you think of this series. And until next time, YouTube, peace out. Rock on, stay super class, and definitely check out our next episode of our Madden 23 Philadelphia Eagles franchise mode on Thursday.